Let's think about the formula for the interior angles in a regular polygon. We know that the sum of the interior angles in an n-sided polygon is 180 times m minus 2, and in a regular polygon, all of the interior angles are equal. So each interior angle equals that sum divided by n. So we can write that as 180 n minus 2, all divided by n. You'll sometimes see this written in other ways, because if we start with 180 n minus 2 over n, and then expand the bracket in the numerator, we get 180 n minus 360, all divided by n. We could then also split that into two fractions, and write it as 180 n divided by n, minus 360 divided by n. The first part would just simplify to 180 degrees, because the n's would cancel out, and the second part is 360 divided by n. So our formula becomes 180 minus 360 divided by n. But wait, 360 over n is exactly the exterior angle of the regular polygon. So our formula tells us that each interior angle equals 180 minus the exterior angle. And that makes perfect sense, because we already know that the interior and the exterior angles must add up to 180 degrees.